We're here now with Chad Wekelo, Principal at Actualize Consulting, to talk about Treasury accounting developments. Chad, how is the convergence of IFRS and U.S. GAAP proceeding in practice? From a U.S. perspective, it's proceeding quite slow to date with uh, gaining momentum and traction here really in 2011 um, due to a couple of developments, namely some really two items. One would be the SEC. So the SEC is providing guidance. They're providing, there's actually a roundtable session coming up in July where they're going to solicit input from the users. And then by the end of 2011, they're supposed to come up with an actual firm timeline when they would actually mandate the implementation. Secondly, the um, IESB and the GAP, US GAP, have been working on a set of standards and they've actually been putting some pen to paper with the standards and showing how they would actually come out in practice, which has given people some additional guidance that they can actually take action on, which they have not had in the past. What value will it add for corporate users? I think the one value, the main value that we would see would be that they can take this as an opportunity. Sometimes people get sort of stuck in what they're doing and they don't have opportunity to actually implement change. And what we see from a user perspective is anytime when there's some regulatory or business change, such as a combination, then they have the opportunity to actually make improvements and they have budget to do things that they may not have wanted to in the past. So we think that you know corporate treasuries and the end users should actually take this opportunity to sort of take hold of the situation and look to see how they can actually make improvements in addition to just making sure they're complying with the regulatory guidance. Aside from that, what value will it add for business in general? Some of the value that um, is sort of widely recognized would be more of a, a comparability across standards. So right now, from a financial statement point of view, there's a lot of massaging of that data that has to be done between you know different entities in the U.S. and other European or Asian entities. So to try to get the standards from a, a comparable view and make sure that you're comparing apples to apples, you have to do a lot of work and it's very cumbersome and, and there's a lot of guessing and estimation occurring. If you're able to come off of one standard base um, for everyone, then you would have comparability, which should help the investment flow, potentially help um, overcome some of the hurdles that are currently there and from an investment both in equity and also from an acquisition point of view. So we see sort of the flow of business across countries actually improving, which should lead to more efficiency. Chad, thanks for your insight. Thank you.